This video will guide you when submitting a new contribution schedule or CS in text format. First, you must click on the CS link either from the home page or the quick links. This will take you to the CS options page. Here, you'll be given two options, view or update an existing CS, submit a new CS. For this exercise, click on this option. On the drop-down menu, select Upload the Contribution Schedule file in text file format. Click on the Continue button and it takes you to the Upload File page. Before you upload the CS file, please ensure that the file name is CS underscore Contribution Month Contribution Year, for example July 2015, underscore employer reference number, underscore CS code, for example, CS01. Select the CS file from your computer and click on the Upload File button. If the file name is correct, you should receive a message that your file has been successfully received. If you receive error messages, then you must correct the CS file. The next step is to verify the CS header and details. To do this, click on View Status of an Uploaded File. This will take you to the File Upload Status page where you can search for the file that you've uploaded. You can do this by entering either the file name or the date it was uploaded. Once you've identified that file, open it to verify the format. If the status of the file is processed, click on the previous icon, then click on the Contribution Schedule header link. That will take you to the Contribution Schedule header page. Here, you will need to search for the specific contribution month you can search by entering a combination of either the contribution period or wages period. For the purpose of this exercise, you will enter the contribution month and year. Once you've identified the CS, click on it to verify the content. If there are errors, the status of the CS record will be on review. If there are no errors, click on the Save button. The status of the CS should change from Review to Valid. Then you click on the Submit button. Your file has been submitted to FNPF. To return to the CS header page, click on the previous button. You will be able to view the status of your contribution that you have submitted. So it is important to note that before submitting your CS, please ensure the CS file name should be correct and the CS format of the file is also correct. Thank you for choosing to use FNPF's employer eServices portal and we hope our online services will assist you with your superannuation obligations.